also, it is the first. Me and Jared have just done a bit of a drive across the peninsula and we've managed to find some pretty decent weather. So we're getting on the boat. Getting on the boat. Okay. We're pretty pumped about getting out because we have not been out together uh, for a long time. And we couldn't get out recently because of the weather. And we've also been shattered from all the deer stalking and everything we're doing. So can't wait to get out there. We're hoping it's good viz. We're gonna shoot over to one of the islands and hopefully it's even more sheltered than here. Which will be even better. I'm Jared, I'm excited. <laughs> So far it looks maybe about we're in five six meters of water here and we can see the bottom fairly clearly uh, so if it's even more viz than that we'll be happy me and John are both pretty fussy we like our good viz <laughs> we're gonna lube up get our suits we are using some optical lube which again thanks to Kat she gave me a whole load when I dived down with her in Wellington John's never used it before I made quite a light version we're probably just gonna chuck some seawater in the suit, get it wet, and then chuck a bit of this in, and in we go. Rather excited. Rather excited, yeah. just get to share some lube. Could be a game changer. And this is 100% completely natural. <laughs> All lubed up and the wetsuit on, it was time to jump in. Now, as soon as I put my head underwater, there's an eagle ray sitting pretty much under the boat. I went down for a closer look and was able to get pretty close to this thing i even managed to get the camera really close and it just sat there nice and patiently and you can see this fishing hook big fishing hook right in its lip now this definitely promotes more sustainable fishing like spear fishing you don't really leave hooks in any animals and you kill it straight away not that people were trying to catch this ray or spear fishermen shoot rays but it's just not very nice seeing this sort of thing the hook's still quite rusty and there's still a bit of fishing line on i did try and take it out at one point but i just couldn't get close enough after hunting some weedy areas in the hope of maybe some snapper just sitting right down in the kelp and basically just having some nice warm-up dives i headed out to slightly deeper water and right on the weed line where I got tucked right against the weed, looking out to the sandy seabed and started chucking some sand up. The only thing I did invite in was a nice big ray. It came in for a curious look and just moseyed on by. But sometimes you get trevally on this sort of terrain. I did see some very, very small snapper, but nothing was coming in. After a few dives and really warming up, we decided to push on to some new locations and just see what was out there. We ended up bumping into a whole pod of dolphins, which was really, really cool to see. And when we did get to a new location and anchor off, something completely unexpected happened and it was just truly amazing.
Now we were so lucky, these dolphins seemed to stick around a long time and we were just in awe of them basically and it wasn't until they took a big dump in the water that these huge snapper, and when I mean big, they were very very decent snapper that I would give my right arm to shoot and then they came up and they just went to town on the dolphin crap. Now it was at this point that we realised, hmm, we're supposed to be spearfishing, so we raced back to the boat and hoped that we could maybe get a shot at some snapper. Now I didn't really have a plan. Basically the burly was supposed to be the dolphin crap and I was supposed to try and shoot the snapper eating that. So I decided to hit to the bot hit the bottom and if the dolphin were above me and they went to town, I could hopefully catch a snapper coming up off the seabed and get a shot at it. Unfortunately, I wasn't so lucky. As I get to the bottom on this dive, I tuck myself into the kelp again and a whole load of perori come out. Now I think these are known as black snapper as well. They're pretty good eating I'm sure, but they're also quite dopey and they do come right in sometimes and I just felt a bit bad about plogging it straight there as I was after snapper. Um, so I just let them be and done a bit of filming and headed back to the surface. Eventually a nice pair of Javelli came in. These would make some great sashimi, but I just rushed the shot I should have given it a bit longer and really aimed up and made sure I Guess that means no sashimi for me tonight Whilst I was down at the bottom missing some Javelli, Jad was up creating a pretty good burly trail now We were hoping we we're gonna track some kingies or maybe even get some snapper back in but what we did attract was this little guy. Now he was not intimidated by us at all and I just love these sorts of interactions as this bird just spun around us the whole time eating all our burley. Now the burley didn't not work. We didn't get any snapper come in but we did actually see a few kingfish but they were quite small and they were quick in and out which means there's maybe no major shoal kicking about and the tide just wasn't really right so we decided to call it a day and get back onto the boat. So that was a pretty epic day diving. Uh, we seen dolphins over at one island that we're gonna try and anchor off and then this spot we ended up getting in, they showed up again. One thing we have learned in amongst all the excitement was that snapper love dolphin shit. As soon as they took an old dump, all we seen was some good old lumps of snapper just poof, rocketing up, taking a munch of it, but we didn't have our guns. Which was, and then I swam back and got my gun and they weren't there. So we were trying to work out what to do, whether we play with dolphins or we shoot snapper. You could, could have worse decisions in life. Uh, but now that was pretty epic. Jared actually managed to get a uh, nice snapper off one of the dolphins, which sounds a bit weird, but his first ever dolphin shit snapper. First ever dolphin shit snapper, yeah. Um, Good combo. Yeah, I see some Trevelli. I miss some Trevelli, but that happens. I think we're going to call it a day though, and it's going to be a bit of a bumpy ride on the way back. So let's get stuck into it. made it back to dry land which is good it was a bit hectic coming back but I think we still had fun trying to surf the boat um, yeah I hope you enjoyed that that was a lot of fun especially getting in the water with dolphins it's not every day you get to do that and seeing how the fish react then the snapper were almost just following these dolphins about um, yeah so we're gonna head over the hill and get stuck into this snapper tonight I think thanks for watching there's gonna be a lot more to come hopefully 
Um, stay tuned, folks. See you later.